Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you for joining me. Viewing the US dollar index, which measures the greenback strength against a basket of six major currencies, is headed higher over the last 24 hours. It's now around that 96.50 level and re freshes the highs that was last posted back in July 2020. It is assessed that we could be looking in towards that 97 region and therefore could put further stress on the euro because the euro is weighted to the US dollar index at 57.6. We are overbought but the trend is still relatively firming up so therefore could see further rises but all eyes this week on the FOMC minutes, the US GDP and also the US unemployment data that could, or more to the fact, job claims that could um, see a little bit more interest in terms of bullishness from the US dollar. That would mean, looking at the weeklies on the euro, that we're still looking at a base seen around 112, which is only about 40 points away, and then reassess from there. If we do take out that level, you can see the next support on the monthly chart Looking back towards the lows of June 2020, around 111. Do note, though, that while we're declining, that we are getting oversold. And no doubt there will be some kind of profit taking very, very soon. Well, we did have an inverted hammer posted on the Australian dollar, but that didn't take much encouragement for the balls to return. And then we've got a doji. And now looking close to possibly seeing maybe another bullish candle coming through that could end up as a, a hammer. But we do need to see where the close is tomorrow morning at 7 o'clock New York time. There is slight divergence, but the ADX is still trending into a bear case. There is still room to reach the region of 71.6080 and then maybe see profit taking and a possible rebound back towards the region of around 72.55.70. Looking at the dollar yen, well, the market did take the challenge above the 115 handle and was brief. The market dropped back after hit a fresh high of 115.23. With some divergence here. Now, as you can see, the prices uh, rose, so did the indicator. But then the next climb, the indicator didn't quite find the strength and the MACD is limited towards the supported a positive signal. Therefore, with the divergence, I feel that the market may actually stage a turnaround and look back towards the region of 113.5 after its failed attempt earlier today at that 115 level. Sterling still has a little bit more room to slide down towards 132.80, but we are getting oversold. But the technicals are still supportive to the bear case. And since the um, Bank of England uh, declined from its uh, views on any kind of hike, it is indicated that the market is pricing in a possible rate hike in December the 16th when they meet and announce their data. So let's see what, how the pound performs up until then. Kajen still sideways after stabbing on Friday at the level of 89.40.45 and now still looks like we're locked in a range of somewhere of 89.40 to 91.40. Any of artists should fail, and I do expect to see the market eventually turn back to the downside. Well, since gold plummeted and took out the, the um, bearish trigger level at 1,840, the market has recaptured uh, its target of 1,815, and now falling further exposes the region of 1,757 to 64, where we see a stab here around early November, and then it was a, a low around mid-October. There is still room to get to that bottom side of the range before any uh, return of uh, demand or profit taking. Finishing up with oil, the market respected the level around $74.80, but I still feel that while capped around that $80 mark, that we could see another down test. Although the market is attempting to recapture its bullish bias, but I feel from the broader picture that we've seen the top for now, and we are seeing a bit more supply coming back into the market. Well, that wraps it for today. Thank you very much for joining me. As always, look out for the intro report. I hope you enjoy the rest of the day.